Today on the channel, Adventurous Ones, we've got the king of the monsters himself, Godzilla. And this one is from, even though it says from Godzilla and Kong, the new empire. This is actually a repackaging of the, the Godzilla figure from King, um, Godzilla vs. Kong. So, Godzilla with Heat Ray, get ready for your unboxing, because this is the Adventurous Joe Show's toy review. Let's go! Welcome back, Adventurous Ones, for another unboxing and review. I am your host, as always, the Adventurous One himself, Joseph Michaels, the Adventurous Joe. And we are unboxing the Heat Ray version of Godzilla from Godzilla X Kong New Empire but even though this is in packaging for the New Empire this is actually a repackaging of the one from Godzilla vs Kong so and I think it's also from uh, the King of the Monsters line as well but uh, I think this is I think this is the one more for the because of the torn chest thing I don't remember it being in the Godzilla new, you know, King of the Monsters line either. Anyways. There's that. There's them. Oh no! We've got to put together his tail! God help us, we're all gonna die in hand, in our hand problems. Because I forgot my gloves. Alright. Alright, come on, Godzilla! Come on, Godzilla! Oh, dang it, what else do I got on scrap here? There we go. Nothing. <laughs> but we do gotta open this here. Ow! Ow! That's all I'm gonna say to that effect. Ow! <laughs> Damn you! Oops. Sorry! <laughs> Language! <laughs> Jameis Pickett's quarter in the swear jar. What quarter? I ain't got no money. <laughs> Anyways, here's the rest of the figures in the line. We got mm, Godzilla Evolved from mm, Godzilla X Kong. We got Godzilla with Beast Glove. Or Kong with, excuse me, Kong with Beast Glove. I'm, I'm sorry, Godzilla, yeah. We've also got Suko and Doug, which they're sitting over there. We got Scar King, and we got Shimu. Now, we, do, we got them on the back of the packaging, but we don't have the actual figures. Now, is there anything else in these boxes? I don't think so. And other than, see, because the instructions are on the bottom. Telling you, a touch tail as shown. Goodbye, box. <laughs> Goodbye, box. It was nice doing you. All right, here we go. Let's hope we can get this done. In the oh my God, it's on in the first try. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! <laughs> Now the question is, can we get the chest piece on Godzilla in the same manner? First, before we do that, let's see how this articulation is. He is very limited on articulation. Now he's got some ankle joint movement, but it only goes back and forth like that. Okay, not real, not real a lot there for him to do. Arm joints, he can, he can go all the way 360. Look, I can turn my arms around. Yay! Headwise, he cannot do a thing other than turn his head that way a bit and that way a bit. Jawline, he can open because you got to put the atomic blast inside, which can go this way, I think it is. Or is it this way? I think it goes this way. Yeah. So you can, he can do that. Yeah. 
Hey, if you watch Goji Center, that that video he did of uh, that poor guy doing a sponsorship thing got fried by Godzilla. Terrible. I don't know how that guy got paid for anything. I hope his family got paid good. <laughs> Anyways, got the atomic breath there. Let's take that out of his mouth. Now you can see, as I showed you before, the articulation in the mouth is, in the jawline is very limited, but it can go up like that, down. It can go up like that, down like that. So, not a lot to it. Now the chest piece here is another story and stuff because it's got this area where it's supposed to attach. And you gotta line it up just right with it. Which I think is the most ridiculous thing in the world. Now, there you go. Godzilla is whole. Well, sort of. He's got, it, he's got it down there a bit. There we go. Okay, see? Yeah, it's got to push in there. It's not very good at the pushing in thing, guys. I think it's supposed to be where you got an opening to do like a tear out there. Like a one of damp, give them some battle damage kind of deal. Put that back in place now. Uh oh. No, don't want to go back. Okay, yeah, see? The problem is, there we go. Oh, look at that. I got. I actually got it. There you go. Now, like I was showing you and stuff. Now, his articulation in his tail can go down about that far. Up and down that far. About that far side to side. And if you want to turn it that way, it can do that too. The articulation, like I said, on the the jawline is um, a folding up and down kind of motion and stuff. Now, this figure was repackaged, I think, twice now. I'm not sure on that. Don't quote me on that. But I think this has been repackaged twice now because I think it originally came out in the King of the Monsters line or it came out in the Godzilla vs. Kong line. Either way, Heat Blast Godzilla is only ten dollars so you really don't got a lot to pay on this and stuff if you want this figure the problem is this comes one per case one per case i mean the same thing with suko they come about one per case and i'm like are you kidding me one per case for a $10 figure? Maybe because it is a repackaged one? I, I don't know. But for a $10 figure like this, with, you know, the articulations it's got and everything in between it, the little heat blast thing that attached inside its mouth, it's one of those things that you could sit back and say, sure, for $10 it's actually pretty good. Now, we've got a Godzilla unboxed. But we don't have a, we don't have Shimo, we don't uh, Shimu, we don't have uh, Scar King, we don't have Kong. Who's he gonna fight? Dun, 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 dun. To be continued next video. <laughs> Okay, and that's it for this unboxing and review, Adventurous Ones. What do you think? Do you think this is worth a $10 price tag, or would you find it wait till it goes on like a clearance to, for maybe 5 bucks or something? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, and hit that bell notification for so you don't miss out on any of our content we got going on in 2024. Lots more on the way, and lots more reviews and more on the way as well. You don't want to miss out on it. So hit that bell notification so you don't. And until the next unboxing, which will be in a bit, and until the next review, which will also be in a bit, <laughs> peace out. May the force be with all of you. And every last one of y'all, have a safe, lovely, and beautiful week out there. Take care of yourselves, your family, your pets, and your friends. And God bless. I'll see you all.